the first thing we have to do is, after we take the base set out of the box, is to assemble it very easily. We will just remove the two screws that hold the back post up and we will turn the back post around so the V groove is facing toward the outside. Make sure you use the washers under the bolts so the bolts don't extend through the base of the tool. We'll snug these up with a 13 millimeter wrench and that's good. Now packed in a separate box will be the clamp block. The clamp block will go on the back slot and we will just loosely install that for now. And the base set is assembled and ready to go. We'll move that out of the way and we will assemble a set of cutters. And we have a cutter and a finger, two nuts, and the cutter bit. Just for the sake of assembly, we'll use the base and we'll just put a nut onto the Allen screw that comes already installed into the post on both the cutter and the finger. Setting it into the lathe, into the hole, we will screw the cutter onto the finger and if you look at the bottom of the cutter, there is a serrated series of grooves that fit into a serrated series of grooves on this portion so they're mated and they can't wiggle around and it has to go in the exact right spot every time. And one great feature about this is you can take off the cutter and sharpen it. It's very important to keep the tool sharp as you do this and it's very awkward if it is welded onto this piece to go over to the grinder and accurately grind this very tiny cutter. And we'll just tighten that up a little bit. Now the lathe that we're working on today is a 12 inch 12, uh, 2436. So that means we have 12 inch swing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this to make sure that the center of the cutter is at 12 inches. And I've got to go up just a little bit. So we'll take this off slack off on the allen wrench a little bit and I think we're going to be pretty close. So I'm going to lock this with my 17 millimeter wrench, put it back in and we'll check to see if it's at 12 inches. I happen to know that my tailstock set exactly at 12 inches so this will work good. Okay, that's good. Now what we have to do is we have to do the same thing to the finger. The finger is actually the tool rest for the whole system. This goes into the cut and acts as a support mechanism so the cutter doesn't go in unsupported. Okay, now we'll bring the cutter around, the, around making sure that, oh, that's really close. We can go up just a little bit on here. This should be adjusted so it just barely has a little resistance through the cutter. And as you see that will go right nicely and it's touching all the way so we know we've got it adjusted right. 
just right. In the next part of the video will be the coring out 